Hi, so quick update. So two weeks ago, I told you about this crazy thing where we tried to buy feminine hygiene products from my office and we were denied reimbursement for that because the House Administration Committee said that's not a permissible expense. Uh, and we told you that on a video like this and it got a big response. In fact, we believe more than 10 million people have uh, either viewed our videos, shared our videos, participated in this conversation. It's created quite a stir. So thanks for your interest in this. And then one of the things that happened that is amazing is that we received hundreds of uh, feminine hygiene products from people all around the country and you wrote in to tell us why. Um, and I just wanna share some of that with you. A woman from Missouri wrote in to say, uh, Representative Maloney, thank you so much for caring about the needs of women who work in and visit your offices. I really appreciate uh, you're shedding a light on the hypocrisy of the House administration, as well as their attempt to cover up the truth once you expose their stupidity and insensitivity. Uh, I'm not a registered lobbyist for an agent, and the cost of these tampons is $30. Should there be a problem, please donate them to a local women's shelter. And, and so many other people wrote in and sent products, so we're making them available to other offices here on Capitol Hill because despite all their denials, the House Republicans have still not approved my purchase of feminine hygiene products, and they won't say what their policy is. In other words, they're trying to cover it up and make it go away. And so many of you have said, we care about this issue. You know, and I've learned a lot about this issue. I'll be honest with you. I've learned a lot. I've learned about the needs of women uh, who are struggling with these issues, who are homeless, uh, the issues that come up in natural disasters when the government's providing uh, assistance and not including these kinds of products. I've learned about the issues in our penal system where women who are inmates or detainees, uh, the issues at the border right now where we're separating families, where we're not providing these basic supplies. You know, it sounds like a little thing. It, it's actually a big thing for a lot of people in a lot of situations. And then the cost of these products is a big issue for so many people. In fact, we tax them as though they're some normal consumer good instead of a basic need in a lot of states. And that's wrong. And that's why I'm supporting legislation called the Menstrual Equity for All Act and what this bill does is it simply makes it easier for folks to access these products the way they should be able to uh, in our criminal justice system, uh, in situations where, uh, where, where they should be provided and grant funds should be uh, provided for that. Uh, think about why you can't use your flexible spending account to purchase fe uh, feminine hygiene products. In other words, there's a lot of work we could do that would go a long way to treating women equally in our society. And it ought to start right here in Congress. So thanks so much for your interest in this. I hope that update is helpful and we'll stay on it.